since they come down, I don't know if more people are buying them or what, but uh, hardly any eggs on the uh, shelf today, so I don't know if it's because more people are buying them or just what, but uh, yeah, the egg supply today, not looking all that good. Milk is looking pretty good today. It's at 306 a gallon and uh, 427 for the 2%. It looks like, or maybe, no, that's maybe a different brand, 306 for it as well. But uh, milk is looking pretty good. Over here to Butter Land O'Lakes, two pack, 978. That's supposed to be a deal, but uh, I don't know if I'd call it a deal or not. Butter looks like it's come down some, 758 for the Great Value brand, 398 for the one pound. So, hey, butter has come down some. That's good news water over here I noticed this whole section right here is empty no pellet there we do have the water over here 348 for the water but I can't emphasize enough to uh, stock up on some water and uh, Palestine Ohio comes to mind those poor people can't drink their water so uh, you know make sure you get water while you can and have some on hand because uh, Yes, one thing we got to make sure we have is water. Over here, there's some gaps on the cereal that I noticed. $1.12 for that Rice Krispies family size. So that's a really good deal. Unfortunately, I don't need cereal right now or I'd be probably grabbing that. But I'm really stocked up good on the cereal. So. But that whole section is empty as well. Let's go check out the oatmeal. Well, on the way to the old oatmeal, look at the grain bars. That's completely empty, so you can tell that grain is uh, being hit on the shortages. Oatmeal as well. I'm not seeing as much oatmeal. Three ninety-eight for the Great Value brand. Two forty-eight if you just want the pound, and uh, five sixty-eight for old-fashioned Quaker oats. Yeah, that's quite the price, huh? But I am definitely seeing not as much oatmeal today on the shelf. And I'm definitely seeing some shortages of the mashed potatoes, the instant mashed potatoes. Definitely see some shortages on the shelf. We do have the Idahoan. They're now 144 each. Uh, but if you're looking for it, like the Idahoan box potatoes, there's only one. And over here, there's, uh, you have one row right there of the instant great value brand, which is $1.98. And over here to the sugar, it's still two ninety four for four pounds, but that's all we have for the four pounds right there. Not a whole lot. And over here for the ten pounds, six twelve for it. And that's all we have there. So I definitely can, don't have near as much sugar today. Uh, but I am seeing that they did get some of the powdered sugar in, which is now a dollar eighty four. The other day, they had no powdered sugar except for the more expensive Domino brands. So. But uh, we do have powdered sugar in today. Flour is 2.24 for the uh, five pounds down there, and not looking too bad on the flour. Of course, if you want gold metal, you're going to pay 3.83 for it, and 6.43 for the 10 pounds. So uh, definitely, the price of that has gone up. Olive oil is looking pretty good stocked up today. 2.88 for the classic, uh, great value brand. 7.76 for a little bigger one. Uh, but it's looking pretty well stocked up on the olive oils. Let's go down here and we'll check out the vegetable oils. And they are also looking pretty well stocked. Granola oil, 912 for that gallon. And over here, 364 for the one quart. And 858 for the great value of gallon of oil. So if you want peanut, peanut oil, 1698 for that. 518 for the short teen, shortening from Great Value. 1928 for that Crisco. <laughs> Lord Obi. Nine dollars? Are you kidding me? Nine dollars for Crisco? Yeah. Nine dollars. Wow. I can't really believe that one. That has really gone up. That jumped up on me before I knew it. Over here to the pasta, still 98 cents. It's looking pretty good on the pasta. Yeah, the pasta has been really hit pretty hard. So it's not looking too bad today. The Barilla is 318. That is pricey. 
And over here, 184. So that's why I stick to great value. Yeah, I noticed here there's some gaps too in some of the uh, fruit cups there. So, uh, not seeing as many of the fruit cups, but you come over here and the canned fruit is looking pretty well stocked up today. Uh, you can get peach has a dollar thirty-eight. Those were just a dollar not that long ago. I know I bought some uh, fruit cocktail a dollar thirty-eight. So you can definitely see how prices are climbing. Two eighteen for the Del Monte. Uh, no sugar added in that one. Two twenty-eight if you want sugar added. Uh, uh, definitely prices are going up on fruit. And over here to the canned meat, nine ninety-eight for the Keystone. Um, 9.22 for the pork and 7.44 for the chicken. So the chicken has actually gone down some, which is good news. Uh, and over here, roast beef, 3.74 for that can. And uh, that spot down there doesn't have any chicken in it, but uh, 9.98 for the four pack. But uh, not looking too too bad on the canned meat. See if we're starting to get any potted meat back yet. Oh, they do have one couple potted meat up there. Uh, my hubby really loves potted meat. And down here, some Vienna sausages. So, uh, yeah, getting your canned meat, guys. And over here, chili beans. Let's see, 208 for Wolf brand. That's something else that not that long ago I used to buy it for a dollar. Now it's doubled in price. Uh, you know, it's no wonder that there are food insecurities going on in America with the prices that people are having to pay. You know, um, yeah, why wouldn't there be food insecurities? It is over here at the green beans. They kind of marked down to 50 cents a can again from 58 cents. So great buy on that. And also, I'm trying to see if it's only the green beans. They have uh, Libby for 88 cents on the green beans. Yep, corn. 50 cents a can, guys. So make sure you, you stock up on your vegetables at that price. And let's see how we're doing on the coffee. Maxwell House, 9.96 for the Maxwell House. Over here, I am seeing some gaps in the Great Value brand of decaffeinated coffee. Uh, they do have more down here of the uh, caffeinated coffee. 10.97 or 10.92 for the bigger one, and Folger is still staying at 13.98 for the big one, and 9.97 for the one just under. Down here, Hunt's ketchup, a dollar 38 for the ketchup. Uh, ketchup keeps going up in price, a dollar 78 for the Great Value. 3.48 for that one right there, and. We are seeing a few gaps there as well in the ketchup. And peanut butter, peanut butter $5.98 for this now. It just keeps going up every time I come in here and do these videos. Uh, a few caps down there in the peanut butter, but more than anything is the price of peanut butter keeps going up every time. $11.97 for that one, and then $10.47 for the big four pound, but yeah. Peanut butter definitely going up in price. Get over here to the potatoes, three twenty-seven for the five pounds. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with my camera, but it was getting kind of smudgy looking. Four twelve for those yellow onions right there. And over here to lettuce, a dollar sixty-eight a head, but they're not that big, as you can see, not very big at all. That's empty. We do have a few here. And we have tomatoes, $1.28 a pound for those right there. And peppers, green peppers for 86 cents each. So guys, I'm headed out to check out. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for joining. Till next time, to live. God bless. See you in the next video.